Number 60. How many grams of zinc 2 cyanide, so ZNCN2 solid, they give us the molar mass, 117.44 grams per mole. So how many grams of ZNCN2 would be soluble in 100 milliliters of water? Include the balanced reaction and the expression for KSP in your answer. And then they tell us the KSP value for ZNCN2 solid is 3.0 times 10 to the negative 16th. Okay. So we need to include the balanced reaction. So we know what to do, right? We have a KSP, we need that balanced reaction, and it's always from that solid compound breaking it into its ions. So in this case, we have Zn, Cn2, that's the solid, and this is coming to equilibrium double arrow with its two ions. In this case, it has to break up between the zinc and the cyanide, right? So in this case, we have the Zn and then Cn. Charges, you could find them by looking at the subscripts. There was one zinc, so that crisscrossed up, telling me that the Cn is a negative one charge, and the two crisscrosses up, telling me that the zinc was a plus two. They have charges, so they're aqueous, so AQ, AQ. And now let's just balance it. I do have two cyanides or two Cn, so I do have to put a two there in front of the Cn minus, and now we're good. The next thing we're gonna do, we need to write that expression for the KSP. So we use the general formula. Remember, KSP is equal to this. It's just the products raised to the coefficients. So in our case, our KSP is going to be equal to the two products. Maybe I'll put it a little bit closer. So it's gonna be equal to Zn2 plus times Cn minus, and then we just have to raise it to the coefficient. Since there was a 2 here in front of the Cn, I do have to square that. Now, the only number that they gave me was the KSP. They told me that the KSP was 3.0 times 10 to the negative 16th. But I don't know what the Zn2 plus um, number is, and I don't know what the Cn minus is. Well, that's when we just start labeling as variables. So I'll start with the Zn2 plus. I say, okay. I don't know what it is, so I'm just going to label it as X. But always just make sure to, you know, bring it with the coefficient. This technically should have been 1 times X, but 1 times X is just X, so we'll leave it like that. But when you do the cyanide, this has to be a 2X. And those are your two variables that we're going to plug in into this equation, right? Oops, this and this. So the Zn is now gonna be x, and the Cn minus is gonna be the 2x. All right, so let's go for it. 3.0 times 10 to the negative 16th equals, we have x times 2x squared. Let's work on 2x squared. Remember, 2x squared, you just have two of the two x's being multiplied together. So two times two is four, and then you pick up two x's, so that's x squared. So 2x squared is the same thing as just saying 4x squared. You pick up another x, and now we have a total of 3. So 3.0 times 10 to the negative 16th equals 4x cubed. Let's divide on both sides by 4. Kind of getting you know rid of the x. So 3.0 times 10 to the negative 16th divided by 4, I get 7.5 times 10 to the negative 17th, and this equals x cubed. Well, we could just take the cube root on both sides, right? But just know that the cube root is the same thing as just raising your number by the inverse number. So 3 is 3 over 1, so you could just raise this to the 1 third. The same thing over here. I'll just raise it to the one third. This goes bye bye. And now we're just left with x equals whatever that is. Cube root it, raise it to the one third, doesn't matter, you get the same answer. And I get 4.7, just kidding, 4.217 times 10 to the negative sixth. And that's molarity. And who do we care about? Well, the question's asking for how many grams of ZnCn2. So I care about my actual solid. 
But if I notice that in the front, there was only one of these, and my answer equals 1x. So the ratio is the same. Just know that even though this doesn't get included into a KSP, it still has molarities. We just can't use it in our expression because it's a solid. But this molarity would be the Zn Cn2. So now I'm going to use that value. Okay, now where am I going with it? Well, I still want to find out the grams, and I have a molarity. So I say to myself, before I move this over, so I say to myself, okay, what formula do I know with molarity? Well, molarity equals moles divided by liters. And if I know a molarity value, right, that's the one I just found out, 4.217 times 10 to the negative sixth, and let's see, hmm, I want to get a gram value. Wait a minute, I know I can go from moles to grams somehow, so do I have a liter value? Not really, but they gave me milliliters. So I can convert 100 mils into liters, right? 100 mils into liters, all we have to do is just divide by 1,000. So this would be the same as 0 0.100. And now I have room to find out moles. If I just rearrange this formula, just know that it's moles equals molarity times liters. So I'm just gonna do it that way. So my mole value would equal the 4.217 times 10 to the negative sixth times 0 0.100. So I have 4.217 times 10 to the negative seventh moles of my compound, the Zn, Cn2. Well, now moles into grams. Well, all we have to do, we know moles to grams, right? All we have to do is just times by the molar mass. And they were so kind of us to give us that value. So I don't have to look in the periodic table. So all I have to do is just take the 4.217 times 10 to the negative seventh and times it by 117.44. 41217 times 10 to the negative seventh times 117.44. And I guess, I guess two sig figs, maybe three, 4.95 or maybe 5.0. <laughs> so we'll leave it as, I guess, 5.0. So 5.0 5 times 10 to the negative fifth. And that's your amount of grams. I'll just make this a little bit. There you go. And that is your answer. So how many grams of zinc cyanide? 5.0 times 10 to the negative fifth. And there you go. I really hope this helped you out. Let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for viewing the video. And if you want to help us out, subscribe to the channel and tell your classmates about this cool YouTube channel. Maybe we could help them out too. All right. We also have physics and math videos at the moment with much more subjects to come in your way. So stay tuned, all right? I will talk to you soon. Bye-bye.